Hi peeps, so I have six junk journals to share with you today that will be listing it, listed in my shop um, either by Saturday or Sunday, the latest. Alright, so I'm going to do three in this video and then I'm going to come back and do the next three because I don't want them all in one video. Alright, so let's get started. So the three that I have for you in this video are these three here. Make sure I've been frame. Okay, so these are the three I have for you. I'm gonna start with this one first. So this one is a, I like to call it a girly grunge. So it's not, um, you know, it's not your typical girly um, girly type journals with lots of florals and pinks and you know <laughs> this is more me right here but um, it's still very pretty and still can be very feminine as well um, I think it can either even be masculine even though there's a flower on the front so I wrapped it around with some of my favorite twine and this cute little key charm right here. Here is the back. And as you can see, there's no lace on the spine on this one. I kept it really simple. And I didn't girl it up too much. Okay, make sure I'm in frame here. So, of course, as usual, there's a pocket here. And I'm just going to flip. I did a little bit of stamping on the pages. Um, what I started doing was spraying the back of um, the white, the double-sided, I mean, not the double-sided, the single-sided pages that have white. Um, I've been spraying it with coffee, so it's not so white because the white was really driving me crazy. So I love the way that looks. Um, on there so no I didn't go too grungy but I just did a like a light mist of coffee so as you can see just a little bit of stamping here I really really like this this um, is using the I believe it's the DCWV timeless paper pad that my bestie Melly gave me thank you mouse and so I use this um, little cut apart to make a little tuck spot here with the little tag. All the little cutouts are from um, the collection, little Polaroid here. Um, little typewriter stamp. This is a tuck spot as well. And of course, I didn't put anything in that little tuck spot. Let me see. I do this all the time, people. I think I would. Get it together. Okay, let's use this one so I can just show you that it is the tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. Let me keep it out just in case I need it for something else. Did I skip anything? I don't think so. So, um, like I've been doing lately, putting pockets in here with trying to use up my scraps. So, um, all my journals now have this little handmade library pocket. I have a time card that's been coffee dyed and this little charm was made and given to me by my friend Cass. Thank you Cass. I thought it would be perfect in here. And then some more stamping. Obviously lots of coffee dyed paper. This is a coin envelope here that I um, just covered the top with some washi tape. There's nothing on the inside, so I just clipped this little this little Tim Holtz tag here, and so that just clips on, so you can tuck something in there. If you like, here's another little stamp here. I 
really, really like this. It's another little touch spot right here. Another little touch spot here with the cut apart, a little tag. Lots of room for journaling. This was um, one of the cut aparts. I fussy cut it best I could. I'm not the best at fussy cutting, but um, I, I love this and I had to put it in here. So I think that is so cute. And then here's the back pocket with a big tag as well. So let me put it. No, I'll put it back later. You guys, I don't want to waste your time. Let's move on. Okay, next up. Okay, this one I used Tsunami Rose Kit. Um, oh my God, I can't remember the name of it. But I'll put the link <laughs> down in the description. Sorry, you guys. I just totally went blank. So, um, this one I really, really love. Um, it does stick out a little bit, so keep that in mind. Um, I didn't trim it because, uh, yeah, this is one of those late night ones that I just, yeah, totally forgot to trim it in. But I still love it, so hopefully you'll love it too. So, I have some torn muslin. I love the look of torn muslin. I don't know why. And then I just use a Tim Holtz, um, one of these pens, and I don't know what the name of it is. And this cute little um, crown charm here. And so let's go on the inside. I love, I'm late to the game when it comes to Tsunami Rose and, and digital kits in general. Um, I have bought a few, a very few. <laughs> That's not even a word of her kits but anyway um i did a pocket here of course charm there it is charming fragments that's the name of the kit um but i will still put the link down below so i used um my leftover file folder to adhere a lot of the um embellishments she oh my god i don't even know how she does it her kits are amazing and they're so inexpensive they are all 250 from what i can see and they're packed with stuff i mean it's just amazing i don't know how she does it but i'm so grateful that she does because i have gotten my fill so i did some ledger paper and i backed um the paper with um coffee dyed paper so this let me just say this journal is very really light because it's all digital so it's, it feels really lightweight um, I really love how it came out though I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so here's one of the little um, ephemeras that I backed all the ephemera from her kit I backed with leftover file folder so I don't have to keep saying that um, here's the little pocket here so I just kept it kind of open and put a little card in here I mean there's really nothing to this because she does all the work for you um, this is a tag that Melly sent me so I added it there I did a little bit of stamping I mean it's so beautiful the papers are so beautiful like I don't there's really nothing to say just flip <laughs> there really isn't much to say I mean this this is so, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Did I do a pocket in this one? I don't even know. No, probably not because I did a bunch of the little pockets that she has um, in here. So, I love, I love, love, love this. Really, really love it. I definitely want to do another, um, another one using this, this kit as well. So here's another one of the pockets. And I just stuck this journal card in here. This is her big old card. And another little piece of the ephemera.
And then here is the back. So that is it for that one. I love this. I love this, you guys. I hope you love it too. Um, I really, really loved working with her kit. And I can't wait to do more. I have my um, eye on a few more that I'm going to be purchasing. So this one was a lot of fun. <laughs> very, very bright. Um, so not me, but still a lot of fun to create. So this is like a retro theme. Um, I can't remember the name of the paper pad. It's the Hot Buy paper pad. But what I did was it had this paper that had these heart cutouts. So what I did was I put some purple glitter paper in between the paper and the file folder. So it would show through those hearts. So I thought it came out pretty cool. And then I had this beautiful eyelash trim, colorful fiber that matched the cover perfectly. I put a little peace charm on there because, you know, to me this is really like retro and groovy and <laughs> here's the back. I did a little lace detail, really thin, not too overwhelming because I just think the cover, the paper, the little um, cutouts was enough and then there's all of this. I didn't want to overwhelm it too much, so I hope you guys like it. All right, so let's get inside because I've been talking too much. As one of my subscribers, I believe she's a, a subscriber, mentioned that I talk a lot, which I know, so I wasn't offended. But whatever, if you don't like it, you know, you can always move on, I'm just saying. So I did make some homemade tabs with this one. Um, the two at the front and the back don't stick out as much because of the way the papers are in there but um, I think they still came out pretty cool so of course there's a pocket where they cut out these um, this paper pad had a lot of cutouts so the person who buys this is going to receive a ton of cut aparts and tags and whatnot um, in this collection I mean, with this journal. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of um, stamping. I, I bought the stationery paper from Dollar Tree, and so I've been kind of added in. And I coffee dyed some, and I coffee I didn't coffee dye others. So, of course, this doesn't have any coffee dye paper in there. So, I had this little cassette um, stamp, so I added it in here. But this was a really fun, um, fun one to do. There's a little tuck spot here. Let's see, did I put a, anything on the other side? Oh, I did. All right. And then there's a tag here that I added some colorful, soft trim on there. I love this trim. It's so fun. Obviously, if you don't like it, you can take it off. Love these little roller skates. Oh, I remember my roller skates back in the day. I don't know if I still remember how to roller skate. So ledger paper and just a really fun journal. That's it. Just a real fun one. Oh, what am I doing? This is a tuck spot. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was for a second. Oh my god, it's been one of those days, you guys. I'm so sorry. I've been so busy. So here, here's the tuck spot right here. Let me leave that out in case I need it. Um, this opens up. So you have lots of room to journal. It's in the way here. Okay, there we go. And then I put this little Amy's hand camera stamp because I just thought it looked really cute on there. I feel like I'm taking forever with this one. Let me speed it up a little bit. So there's an
little, I love this, a little piece of my heart. It reminds me of my favorite Janis Joplin song. You know, when I saw that, I was like singing that song all, the whole time I was creating this, and then I had to play it. <laughs> oh, goodness, I'm so funny. At least I think so. Um, so I made a library pocket here. I put this little cute little fringe kind of trim here on the edges with these cassette tapes. I thought this would be a cool place to put like your your playlist because it has, look, it has if you make a mixtape so you can write like, oh my God, remember mixtapes? Oh my God. My Heart Sings Disco. So these are the tags that were in the collection. And again, I put that fun little trim on here. And then I fussy cut the little records from the paper and then I glued them on there. And I've, um, I have some that I'm sending the person who um, purchased this journal. So they can decorate, you know, with them if they like throughout their album. I love, this is probably my favorite page, the cassettes, because it brings back so many memories of me making little cassette tapes of my favorite songs and um, when I got my little boom box and pressing pause during the commercial so I didn't get the commercial on the radio when I was recording the radio. <laughs> oh man, I'm sharing my age, but I don't care. I'm not ashamed. I'm a proud 46. But those were the days. So there's another pocket in the back and a journal card as well. So that is the three journals that I have for you right now. And I will be back to share with you the other three. So let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. All three will be listed, um, of course, in my shop by the end of the day, Sunday. Sunday morning, I think the latest, but um, it may be even listed Saturday. If I can get everything done, it may be listed by Saturday. So keep checking if you... Um, are interested in any one of them just keep checking um i will put the links to all the all three of these journals down in the description i think i will call this one grunge this one rainbow and this one collage or tsunami tsunami rose i'll do this tsunami rose okay so those are the three that i have for you now. So I will be back with the next three. Talk to you later and thanks so much for watching you guys. Bye.